Well, a judge heard more arguments from attorneys for Governor Matt Bevin about why a lawsuit against him should be dropped. The governor was sued by the Democratic Attorney General Andy Bashir after he cut funding to higher education through an executive order. Bashir says the governor has overstepped his authority, but Bevin says there are statutes that allow his actions. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live in Frankfurt now with the latest on the case. Hillary? Good afternoon, Bill. The hearing here inside of Franklin County Circuit Court lasting nearly two hours, giving both sides the opportunity to verbally argue the briefs that have been filed in the case. Now, that started with the governor's counsel making their case for why, why they believe this lawsuit should be thrown out. Governor Bevin's attorneys focusing on two statutes and the difference between the terms appropriation and allocation. They say the governor fully agrees that the General Assembly is the only entity that can appropriate money, setting a spending ceiling. However, they argue it then becomes the job of the governor to decide how to spend that money. Now, governor's attorneys say KRS 48620 gives him the ability to spend less than that ceiling where he feels it is necessary. He went on to say that Governor Bevin wants to get rid of the spend it or lose it mindset. It was then the Attorney General's turn. Andy Bashir starting his argument with saying the Constitution of Kentucky first reads, we the people, not me the governor, leading to his point that allowing the mid-year cuts would give the governor power outside of his authority, saying it would essentially make the governor a king and is simply unconstitutional. Governor Bevin, Bevin's attorneys say while he hopes funds from the cuts would go toward the pension problem, they agree he does not have the power to decide where specifically the money from the cuts go, that it must then go to the general fund where then the next legislature would decide how it is spent. Now, Bashir says that because of that, he should go ahead and restore the more than $18 million to universities since it will just sit there and since he will have funds from the cuts in the upcoming budget that soon goes into effect. Now, no decision was made here today in court. Bashir says he hopes the judge will make a decision within the next week. For now, live in Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Hillary, thank you. Of course, the ruling could be precedent setting, and the judge commended both sides for their professionalism and thoroughness in the case so far.